Shout out to all amazing animals. If you guys like animals, this is the channel for you. We are going to be posting daily. Or close to daily. There might be a few days that is it. Boop. 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 Okay, there we go. So, Tropical Storm Crystal has now made landfall in Guatemala. Also, it is now a tropical depression. So, if we go on over to, and this is advisory number 13, um, it's still a tropical depression, but it's forecasted from 1 p.m. Friday to 1 a.m. Saturday. It is supposed to become a um, tropical storm. Um, yeah. So... So they say that it's going to go like north and then room on over to the east and then go on and make a landfall into Guatemala. <laughs> Louisiana. Sorry. Um So the earliest arrival, so the wind speed probabilities actually has gone down. Um, and it isn't as strong, but, um, later on in the day, it will probably get stronger and stronger from tropical storm force winds. And, um, and 50 knot wind possibilities is only for around the bottom portion of... The storm, which is only 5 to 10 percent chance, but you don't know, it could change to possibly even a hundred percent chance, and maybe hurricane force winds could change. Also, go check out my live um, feed that's going on right now that you guys should be watching already. Um, so, this is the infrared. So... We could definitely see some blow-up of convection. So the low pressure is located right there. The low pressure is located right here. You could see that new, you could say I, but not really. And then you could see that blow-up in convection. And that's some strong convection blow-ups. Um, yeah, you can definitely see... Um, let's pause at the last frame. Pause. Good. So, here's a blow up. There's a blow up. Well, there's a blow up. There, there. Blow up, blow up, blow up, and blow up. So, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blow-ups. So I think it might be a tropical storm right now. But, so we have two models that show it going up to Category 1 status. Um, that is probably unlikely, but... It could happen. My model is this one. Um, actually, let me show you it. Boo boo, baby, and then. Way around there is whenever I make a landfall and then die out. So this is where. It is located right on top of Guatemala, and then soon to be moving back into Mexico. And which way is it moving? It is moving east-southeast, so that way. Well, that way. So it actually is moving towards Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, um, and Belize. 
And then I think the next advisory is whenever we go on up and then more up. This is definitely like a slow moving storm, kind of like how Dorian was. Um, so this is the GEPS model. So they show making landfall right into um, Louisiana. Only like one or two make landfall in Texas, and none make landfall in Mississippi. So that is being unlikely. The main area for focus is going to be um, here, um, Louisiana, even though one says it'll make a landfall in um, El Salvador and then make a landfall in Belize and then go on up. Huh? You make no sense, buddy. So this is the uh, model track. Most of the best model tracks should uh, just go straight up or do like a, li a little turn and then make a lean for there. Um, and then the GEFS all predict that it's gonna go on up and then go and make a lean for, and then here they kind of get scattered. But if it does stay alive, most of the models are showing um, up into Canada. Um, so this is the GFS model. Sorry, I went a bit overboard. But we do see, but well, we can't see that well. But we do see that it does get out. Around a day from now, and then makes landfall as a 9.92. And then, yep! Let me just move you. Actually, I want you, but I need to move you. So let me move you there, and then move you, and then put you there. Okay. So the CMC model, or the Canadian model, says to go on and actually make a landfall in Mississippi. So the Canadian model has actually moved over and made landfall in Mississippi and not Louisiana. Or it made a little landfalls with those tiny islands. But the main landfall would be there in Mississippi. Um, but New Orleans, you still have very heavy rain. And that happened in 90 hours and not like 100 hours. Um, so, yeah. So, the HMON says it will make landfall in near New Orleans. And 998 millibars and some scattered, very strong storms and possibly even some tornado warnings that will be occurring. So this is the humidity model, GFS. GFS, in my opinion, is the most reliable. And then we see, so humidity for the storm is pretty good after the um, new advisory. The only bad thing is right around the um, south side, around whenever it makes landfall. Um, one second, I just, my mouse fell off of the um, thing, so you might have seen my mouse flying. Sorry for that, <laughs> but I am back. Um, so this is the wind shear.
So when she was pretty bad but pretty good at the exact same time, it isn't the worst but it isn't the best. So this is winds and the winds for this storm are mainly on the northern side but there's like another really large low pressure that's kind of helping it and then these are the major winds so there's not really going to be any major winds with this storm um and yeah i think that has to wrap it up Thank you guys for 61 subscribers and go check out my live stream right now. Hey, bye bye.